Hello guys, this is me like a freak 452 here and I'm gonna be showing my face in this video for the first time ever, so wonder what I look like, this is what I look like. So I'm gonna be doing my first vlog here on my, uh, my main channel. I'm just gonna apologize. Um I haven't uploaded a video on my um my other channel with Brick is Serene Luke the Yoda, which is um Brick the Yoda Freak 452. Please go and subscribe to that as well. I'm gonna be making two I've already made two videos for that, and they are the Sid Night Speeder review and I'm gonna be opening I've opened another minifigure, Sarah's my minifigure. So let me get on to this vlog. So first thing I'm gonna be uh, doing a very exciting news. I just ordered the Lego Star Wars ATRT for 2013. Very, very cool looking set. Um I just been convinced by all the reviews I've seen, especially Luke the Yoda's, that was a very good review, I do admit. Um it looks like a very, very cool set. It comes with a brand new Yoda, a brand new 501st Clone Trooper. That just looks epic. And a Commander Droid Captain to lead my Commander Droids. Um, it also comes with the Sniper Droidica, which looks very cool indeed. And the Beast ATRT. Um, yeah, so it's got some nice moving legs and everything like that. So, yep, yeah, I just uh, all the set I've ordered for you guys, um, for me, but uh, for you guys to see when I review it. And that will be on my main channel. Not Brick the Yoda Freak 452. But anyway, um, Lego Star Wars 2013 Summer Sets. Um, yeah, they look extremely cool. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of editing. I'm going to go and get the list for that. I'm going to read it out for you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back from my editing, and I have the Lego Star Wars 2013 Summer Sets reviews in here in my hand. So, I'm going to be starting off with set number 7015, the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. And I'm going to state the prices as well. Let like, you know the Lego Star Wars sets. And this one is going to be £20, US, uh, I'm sorry, English Sterling Pounds. And it is similar to the 2009 set. I haven't seen the pictures, but I've seen a review of it. And it includes three Phase 1 clone troopers from the, like, the original one from the Battle Pack. Or, like, the, tw the 2013... Droidicas versus Clone Troopers Battle Pack um, includes one Battle Droid and one new Django Fett, so that'll be a nice figure for your collection, Django Fett. And uh, I think this is going to be an Episode Two set because of the Phase One Clone Troopers, but I'm making an assumption they're going to be Phase One. So next is going to be set number seven five zero one sixty Homing Spire Droid. This is going to be twenty nine ninety um, or thirty pounds, twenty nine pounds ninety nine pence. Similar again to the 2008 version of the homing spider droid. It also comes with a dwarf spider droid like, um, I bet this can be updated though. It comes with a regular phase one clone trooper, a super, two super battle droids that this figure I'm most excited about, Ardi Gali. If you don't know what she is, type her in the um, research bar. She's a very, very cool Jedi. She also appears in the Clone Wars. So this could be an Episode 2 set or a Clone Wars set because Ardi Gali does appear in the Clone Wars and Episode 2. So that's very cool. Um, I'm going to be definitely buying the Corporal Lance Troy as well as that one. And the rest of I'm going to tell what I will, if I will buy it or not. Okay, the next one is set number 75017. It's going to be the Jewel of Geonosis. It's going to be £39.99. pence. I would expect this to be a lot smaller, about t a £10 set, but no. It is, um, it is based on the Jewel of Yoda and Count Dooku in Episode 2 of the Star Wars trilogy. Um, it includes lots of scenery from like the Hangar Bay, where Count Dooku and Yoda fight, like the stuff which they throw at each other, like the big pillars of rocks. It includes a new, brand new Count Dooku, a brand new Yoda, a brand new pilot droid, which probably uh, uh, pilots a Count Dooku solo sailor, which will probably also be included in the set, but it's not conf confirmed. And a, a brand new, and the figure most excited about as well, Poggle the Lesser. So he's a very key character in the Separatists. So uh, next is set number 75018, and it is Jex 14 Stealth. Starfighter, it is £59.99, it's going to be based on the um, Yoda Chronicle series, which is, I think it might be on TV, but at the moment it is online, um, it's, uh, from the reports I've heard on the internet, it's going to be black and white, and it's like a beefy Z95 head, I'm so like a fat one, it includes Jack 14, which I'm uh, assuming is a droid, a uh, new separate is Bounty Hunter, all these figures are new. A new Special Forces Clone Trooper. This could be uh, the first Lego 
Clone Commando, which was very cool, and it could be, and uh, there's another minifigure R4G0, which sounds like an astronaut droid. The next set is 75019 the ATTE, and it's going to be £79, 80, sorry, 99 pence. It's going to be probably from episode 2, uh, definitely from episode 2 because of the figures. It's going to be similar to the 2008 version, but with some. Uh, with some updated and some tweaks. Uh, it's getting, the mini figure is going to be a new Mace Windu from episode 2. A new phase 1 clone gunner which will be pretty cool. Two super battle drives. And again the figure I'm going to be most excited about getting is Coleman Drabor. So that is going to be very cool. He's another very cool Jedi who got killed by Django Fett. I'm um, sorry to show you. I will be get, trying to get um, John and Geonosis. Jex 14 style stuff. I just want to see the pictures first. But it looks pretty cool because it's going to be like a Clone Wars type set and the ATTE I'm definitely going to get. Next set is 75020 and it's Jabba Sail Barge. It's going to be £100 pounds virtually. It's going to be smaller than the 2006 version but far better figures. You get a, um, not a new Jabba from Jabba's Palace. It's going to be a cheaper, cheap, cheaper way to get Jabba. Um, not that cheaper. A, a new Max Rebo which is extremely bright and um, which has never been made before. I like a lot of these figures in this line. Um, so Max Rebo is like a, a blue elephant rig, but he is very cool in episode six. It's gonna be an, 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 an unknown weak way. Um, a, a figure called Reese Yees, which is like a entertainer in Jabba's palace, and he's like a I can't remember what his speech is called, but he's got three eyes and he's like weird. Um, I am a Star Wars fan, but I I can't remember that species. Um, sorry, may Luke the Oak, could you tell me if you know? Um, anyway, you get a new Princess Leia slave outfit, like new printing, and an R2-D2 drink server disguise, so you probably get that as well. Um, the features of the set are the sides of the Jabba's palace do open, and um, you can have a space for store Max Rebo's piano. So, or sort of piano. Well, the next is 75021, and it's the Republic gunship. This is £109.99. It's a bit, I'm a bit disappointed about the price, but I'm going to try and get that, and I probably won't get the Jawa Sail Barge, but I'm going to try and get that, try and save up for that set. Um, it is from episode 2, and it's similar from the 2008 version with some new tweaks, like um, the new pilot canopies where you can place the pilots. It comes with a new ep um, episode 2 Obi-Wan Kenobi, a new episode 2 Anakin Skywalker, uh, a new Padme Amidala from episode 2 with a torn up shirt from the Gene Ocean Arena, um, a new Phase 1 Clone Trooper Officer and two Super Battle Droids. So uh, the next set is going to be 75022, the Mandalorian Speeder, which is going to be 24 I'm going to try and get that set also. This is um, one of the confirmed Clone War sets. It's going to be this one, this one is definitely going to be Clone Wars, and there's two which I'm debating which could be Clone Wars. So the only Clone Wars set, which I've already said, uh, uh, which is confirmed. It in, it's like it, it, it um, but the homing spider droid and the other stuff could be kind of yeah. It, it looks like average speeder, but it looks pretty cool as the reports I've heard. And it comes with two Mandalorian super commandos from season five of the Clone Wars, and it also comes with the new Darth Maul with the, ro the robotic legs. That looks so cool. Oh, I can't wait to get that figure. Anyway, so the next one is going to be seven five zero two three. The Advent Calendar, which is going to be twenty four ninety nine. I'm going to also try and get this. Um, looks quite a cool set, as the reports I've said. But and the Ivory Year, it's got been. Uh, it's been there's been a Santa, it's been Santa Yoda, twenty eleven, twenty twelve, it's been Santa Darth Maul, and this year's going to be Santa Django Fett. So that would be very cool to look at, and it includes a young Boba Fett in there. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I've also found some more information, and this is not confirmed, but I reckon they will make them because they've got the set numbers. I think they are confirmed actually. You've got set number 75024, the HH87 Star Hopper. This is from the um, episodes from Zygeria, um, which is the planet in the Clone Wars. Um, so it's the last episode when Plo Koon tries to capture all, uh, all not capture, the to rescue Obi Wan, Anakin, and all the slaves. And Ahsoka, um, it's like a the Zygerian ship, which looks very cool. And I reckon it's gonna be about fifty pounds. Gonna have some brand new Zygerians, Anakin, Ahsoka. So yeah. And the last set which we're gonna to talk to you about is set number seven five zero two five, the Jedi Defense Class Cruiser. It's gonna be a uh, a uh, 
uh, old Republic set, so it looks very cool. And uh, I've seen a picture of this, and it looks very, very big, and it is going to be about £90, I reckon. So this is going to be it for that video. I've done a lot of research. As you can see, two, two and a bit pages, uh, one of the bit pages of LEGO Star Wars 2013. And this is my face, as you can see. Um, it's the first video I'm going to be showing my face. And thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. And please watch out for vlog number two. So thank you very much, guys, and goodbye.